everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Uh, this book is severely, severely hyped. Uh, everybody and their mama's talking about it. Uh, in fact, I want to start this off with a hilarious uh, review that was shared on there. Even even uh, Jones laughed about this on Twitter. It was uh, how racist the the title is. Uh, every though, sorry, every good, the only good Indians. Uh, if you don't know, Stephen Graham Jones is Native American. Um, so it, it's it's funny when you come across something like that with people that have you know absolutely. They, they don't even take the time to look into the author before they jump to a conclusion. But uh, this book follows not really a group of four men, um, but it follows the... It, it, yeah, it, fo it follows the, the four men, and then there is a surprise character at the end for the ending. Um, well, not really a surprise character, but I, I, think, I think it was the perfect choice uh, for, for ending the book, especially given the themes of the book. There's a scene <laughs> on, on page 115 of the hardcover uh, that literally made me flinch. Um, I am very hard to... Get, it's very difficult for an author to get that kind of reaction out of me. The only other book that I've read like that was a David Joy book. Um, and I literally... It, I had a jump scare on the page. Uh, I didn't see it coming. A lot of people said that they felt the build-up. They saw it coming. I didn't see it coming at all. Uh, and I, I, and who it happens to, and then right after that, there's another huge shocking scene, and that's what this book is to me. Other than the themes and the importance of some of the messages in here, uh, as far as all the stuff that Stephen Graham Jones pulls from Native American culture, um, and he he does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of stuff with that. All all of the uh, the euphemisms that you've ever heard, as far as Native Americans go, he kind of puts his own spin on on that. Uh, and it's great whenever you find those Easter eggs. It's like, I know that story, or I know where that's from, or I know that saying. I've heard that before. Um, he, he, does, he, he does a fantastic job of, uh, of not really hiding. He does, does a fantastic job of subtext. But also, this book is absolutely brutal. I mean, I mean, brutal. Uh, like, like I said, the only other person who's ever made me flinch is David Joy with one scene... Um, and the, the only, and this is the second one, uh, I'm kind of speechless with how good this book is because I've read two other overhyped books so far that came out this year and I haven't been too thrilled, and I wasn't too thrilled with them. Uh, this one lives up to the hype. It is an amazing story. It, there's some great character work in here. Each one of the, each one of the characters that we follow is fantastic. Um, I think my favorite out of all of them is the one that I don't want to talk about because I was so surprised when we got to the ending. I was like, what could there be left? And there was still another 50 pages to go. And I, I got to that and I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be awesome. And it was. Uh, there's uh, This is also important to me because I absolutely hate, hate reading about sports. But there's a lot of basketball stuff in this book. I know absolutely nothing about basketball. Um, we have a basketball court we play sometimes, but it's not like we're, you know, I watch NBA or WNBA or any of that stuff. Um, and I, I hate baseball, football, all that stuff. I'm just not a sports fan. I played so much of it in high school, I just lost all of my love for it. Um, what Jones does in this is he makes sports interesting. Well, he did for me, anyways. And I was, I was, I was shocked, again. This book is just one shocking thing after another. Sometimes I was shocked at how beautiful the language was. Sometimes I was shocked at what happened to a character. Sometimes I was shocked at what didn't happen to a character. Um, and any time an author can, can just give me a new experience almost on every single page, like Jones did with this one, man, I absolutely love it. Another thing is, I, I haven't read a bad book from Stephen Graham Jones, and that's impressive in its own right. Um, I've read several, maybe maybe six or seven so far, and they have all been utterly fantastic. Mapping the Interior is an all-time favorite of mine. Uh, Mongrel's fantastic werewolf novel. Um, if you've read it, you know why I do the air, quote, air quotes. It's a, 
he, he does things with uh, with tropes. Usually I, I don't care too much for tropes, but he does things with horror tropes that is refreshing. It's a breath of fresh air, and I love him for it, for taking these chances and doing things that some other authors may end up leaving open for you. This one has a complete payoff, a complete circular narrative. Everything comes back around, and I absolutely loved it. So yes, five stars, all the stars, however you want to put it. Definitely go out and get this one. Try it for yourself. Um, if you've already read it, please let me know whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it down there in the doobly-doo, especially if you hated it. You know I like to hear you know differing opinions. But tell me why. If you have to put a spoiler tag, put a spoiler tag. But tell me why you didn't love it or why you hated it. I would love to hear some, from someone who hated it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. It's been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.